Hello. Today we are going to unboxing this GK called the Heterocephalus Glabber. Since the detailed information will be presented fully in the video. So please watch the video until the end to know more about the designer's concepts and ideas. Let's get started. The finished whole GK only has two parts, the main body, and the pedestal. The newborn is hardly standing which well indicates from the big space of his hind legs. It vividly shows to audiences his eager to explore the world with a raising head and a step forward. The part of eyes is particularly catching, gazing at you lively under the light. Teeth have also been specially treated with a natural white color instead of the pale white. Last but not least, the workmanship of the genital organ at the bottom is so delicately made that wins our smiles and admiration. We can see every wrinkle on the skin of the heterocephalus glabber that carved vividly. The designer's artistry is not only shown merely in the sculpture, but also in painting, which elevates the non-living work to the living body. Ruddy and fair complexion truly show the tenderness of a newborn living creature. No more? Let's take a look at the originals of this unpainted kit. The best way for people who have the skill or want to practice painting skill is to start with the unpainted kit. The charm of the unpainted kit lies in that if you paint badly, wash it away and you can paint it again. All the details can be redefined so that the same GK in the different conditions can present completely different styles of skin texture. Then, let us introduce the ecological characteristics of heterocephalus glabber. Let us start with the most interesting part. Before people gave them a formal name heterocephalus glabber, they used to call them naked mole rat. The most special feature of this creature is that though small-sized, they are able to live up to 30 years, 18 minutes in the absence of oxygen, and the perfect escape from any cancer in their lifetime. They have existed for nearly 35 million years now. The final thing, heterocephalus glabber as they live underground, their eyesight degenerated has no need for eyes to see, become all blind, at last, searching for food with a big pig nose instead. They are usually on root food. However, this heterocephalus glabber on my hand is probably the pet with more nutritious food and grows into the bigger size than the average. As far as the GK is concerned, I think the bigger sized is more helpful for designers to depict more details. How small sized are they indeed? The one we have is on the scale of 1 to 1 and this one heterocephalus glabber which is 5 inches in length on my hand. The average size of heterocephalus glabber which is about 4 inches in length and 2 ounces in weight. So, this GK1 in their colony is comparable to the size of a basketball player, like Shaquille O'Neal. Add a GK knowledge here, the final size will be a little smaller than the original model set which mainly attributes to the process of baking and drying of soils and the mold casting. So, designers calculate more complicatedly than we imagine in their creating works for the real proper proportion presenting. On the whole, this GK garage kit is a one-piece work. It is well demonstrated the designer's calculating skill to make the work all in one piece at a great extent for the perfect display of integrity. Skin texture, wrinkles as well as the details at the bottom are not neglected at all. Speckles and textures can be clearly seen in his abdomen. It was hard to conceal my excitement when we received such high-quality work. Every part is carefully made, making the piece of work collectible and rare to find the comparable in the market. Are you using the kit differently? Welcome to leave a comment at below to share your way. Let's listen to different ways.
maybe your way will light up our brains. This is the first video we published to the public and made is not done with the perfect equipment but with the ordinary travel camera. As a result, many photography details have been neglected. If more people like our video and more support can be received later, we will upgrade the equipment to improve the quality of shooting for more details and angles to be shown. So, if you like our video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell, so that whenever a new video is released, it will notify you to watch it in time. Any suggestions, please leave us a comment at below. Do you think the video is too dull and require more special effects or simply want to see from more different angles? And so on? Please let us know and we will improve as much as we can for the next video. In this series, videos mainly shoot designers' artwork and make these art designers, sculptors, painters, and environment designers introduced to people who may want to see or know about them. Thank you for watching and see you next time.